Hey guys, this is Sohinky from Mahalo Games, and this is an educational video on Fight Night Champion for the Xbox 360. For more videos in this series, please visit mahalo.com slash fnchampionwt, and if you have any requests, please tweet us at video games. As always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. on this grand, spectacular pay-per-view stage. I'm Joe Tessitore, alongside my partner, Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Boardwalk Hall at the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey. Hey, the first one was so good, they're going to do it again. We got a much-anticipated rematch in our main event. Twelve rounds in the Bantamweight division. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. He's making his way to the ring. And I know you're used to seeing many ring walks where guys are really jacked up. This isn't one of them. Fighting out of Coupe Alto, Frida! We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. From the moment they signed the contract to the weigh-in yesterday, it's been nothing but tough talk. Now we are underway, round number one. The talk is in the rearview mirror. The electricity is pumping, and it's time to fight. And the fun begins. Pause. One, two, one, two. Is there any advice that you can give in a matchup like this of speed versus speed where maybe one guy can go and utilize a completely different tool like try to be a power puncher on a given night or do something ultra defensively that could be an advantage yeah misdirection you know the guy is going to be real keen both guys because they know they have somebody who's so fast in front of them so start one hand he's going to be looking he's going to react start the right hand just a little flinch of the right hand Throw the left hand instead. Misdirection. direction. Watch the hook. Back and forth exchange. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Nice. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Oh, this is a wipeout. You're winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing. You got this. Just keep doing what you're doing. Here we go. Round two is underway. Good, solid right hand. He lands there. Just missed with that punch.
good job staying away from the danger there. Well, nowadays we have so many different weight classes. Used to be only eight weight classes. Now with all the super and juniors attached to every weight class, you can go up and down the scale with ease throughout your career. Is that good for the game? No, I don't really think it is because you're making it too easy for the fighters. You know, I'm not saying that it's not good that they have an alternate to a weight class, but a lot of times when you make things easy, they're going to go for the path that is easier. In other words, somebody should be a middleweight. Now all of a sudden they're going to be a light heavyweight. They're going to be a super middleweight. Where with a little discipline, they would have fit into that middleweight frame. It wasn't that they couldn't make it. Now you make it so easy, they don't want to make it. How about that exchange? Boy, he's really getting off with his punches and multi-numbers here. Keep pushing! Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive, you know that he had a good round. Nice! He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Well, his opponent doesn't like that, but that's exactly what he was trying to do, just create some space there. Fourth they go, each man getting the best of it. Nice work blocking that, and then an uppercut of his own. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Right on the mark with the hook up top. Oh, things opened up, and he was able to place the right hand well. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one. Big, big shot he just scored with. A huge uppercut puts him down. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. And somehow, some way, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Able to land with the right. He fires off the combination there, and it lands. Good combination punching out of him here. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a musical, except right now, I don't think his opponent likes the tone of it. Nice combination. Throwing more than one. Both score.